about Brandon Melendez. I don't know if Ding and Massage to get into it. No doubt about it. Josh Berkman, a lot of fans, a lot of people love this kid. This is his homecoming. This is his turf. Josh was the. This bout scheduled for three five minute rounds. Dave Selya Stead, your referee. All right, boys, we've been over the rules in the locker room already. I'm going to go over the big ones again. Just make sure you stay off of the top, back of the head, neck, and spine, and keep your fingers out of the cage. Listen to me at all times. Understand? Set your up. Let's have a good fight. All right, Sean O'Connor. Valley. Here it is. This is it. Your main event. I've got chills. I'm excited. This is going to decide who is the best to ever come out of the state of Utah. Is it Josh, the People's Warrior Berkman, or Brandon, the murderer Melendez? We're going to find out right now. Johnny Ritchie, I'm torn between wanting this fight to end by a big killer knockout in the first and seeing these guys really put it on each other for three full rounds. This is going to be a phenomenal fight. Both of them looking lean and mean at 180 pounds. Right now, Brandon Melendez taking the center of the cage. Brandon Melendez, uh, these guys are going to take their time. They're going to pace each other. You know, that's one of the things that people thought these guys were going to come out and just lock horns and get after it. And Josh Berkman uh, is a smart fighter. You know, and Brandon Melendez knows, hey, I've got to stand. I've got to pace. I know. Oh, oh big head kick. And that one landed. You see Melendez offer a little, yep, you got me with that one. But then he throws a combination that lands as well. Nice flurry and a good body <laughs> kick landed up on oh, Berkman. Oh, buddy, this thing is going to be fun. Already we've seen just a little bit of everything. Berkman traditional stance, Brandon Melendez is a southpaw. Brandon actually, when you look at them in comparison, looking a little bigger coming into this fight. He weighed in one pound heavier. Brandon Melendez, uh, Brandon, Josh Berkman landing that inside leg kick, really slapping the leg out from underneath Brandon. But Brandon doing a pretty good job of, 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 of recuperating from it once it's done. Josh, obviously a big fan favorite here in Utah. You can't go anywhere without people saying, oh, you're a fighter? Do you know Josh Berkman? <laughs> That's the measure of who you are as a fighter, is how close you are to Josh Berkman. Well, look, I tell you what, Brandon's not doing a, a bad job in here. He's landing some shots. Every time Josh rushes in, Brandon uh, 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 settles him back with a couple strikes, so. And Brandon still take, oh! Brandon Melendez is locked with a punch. We see Berkman really pouring it on here with some body strikes. Berkman puts him against the fence and then hits him with a big elbow, big elbow. He has Brandon Melendez hurt. Brandon Melendez pushes up against the fence, but this is where Brandon wants to be. Brandon needs to shake those cobwebs off. Now let Josh get to the side. Josh Berkman, once again, a phenomenal wrestler in high school, moved on. I could have wrestled in college, but decided to play football instead, and then gave up football to become a fighter. Said, I want to become a fighter, and this is where he's at right now. Once again, fought on the biggest stage in the world in the UFC. Same with Brandon Melendez. Dave Sully said, looking real close to make sure that there's no fingers inside of the fence. Brandon, nice right there. Brandon needs to step, take a step back right here and compose himself. Shake those cobwebs off. Take, you know, don't rush in anything too quick right now, Brandon. Well, Johnny, I mean, you hit on it. Josh is really a phenomenal athlete. He was all state in baseball, wrestling, football. He was a scholarship athlete for wrestling, presumably, and football is the one he, that he chose. And uh, he's a guy whose athleticism really has carried him very far in the sport. Brandon Melendez, although he didn't necessarily compete as much in those traditional sports, still a prime athlete, a very tough guy, and he loves to fight. No, and that's and that. There's no doubt about this. And Brandon, Josh Berkman, we've, I've never seen in trouble in any of his fights on the biggest stage against guys like Carl Parisian and John Fitch. He never looked in trouble. It always it went to a decision. I've never seen him get cloudy or dazed or almost knocked out. And I've seen him eat some really big shots. And right here, you know, you see Brandon Melendez throwing every shot with bad intention, and he's landed a couple. And Josh just uh, shook it off. Well, Josh, you know, lost the. A controversial decision to Mike Swick, who just recently fought for the number one contender uh, position in the 170-pound division in the UFC. You saw him lose some uh, some pretty fantastic. Wow, big combo! He caught it there. Nice combo by Melendez and Josh Berkman reeling. Both these guys already showing some pretty supreme chin. They came into this fight knowing they were going to have to take a lot of punishment to give some. 
Well, I'm, uh, this has been fun because I don't think either one of these guys wants to go to the ground. They want to stand up and bang. That's what they talked about when we had them, you know, on the Rockwell Action Sports Report radio show. These guys talked about standing and banging and really deciding who the best is on their feet in this fight. You know, Johnny, we heard a little bit of trash talk coming from each guy, a little bit of I don't care about this guy. I don't think he's much. A lot of respect being shown in the actual fight. They know the other guy, each opponent has a lot of power, and they've taken some. Oh! Big knockout. And just as we say that, there is the fight. Josh Berkman knocks out Brandon Melendez. Wow. Big knockout. Melendez already back on his feet, but that is the people's warrior. Josh Berkman. There he is. He does. Ends up uh, winning the fight. Knocking out his opponent. Knocking out Brandon Melendez. Some upset fans here, but look, this is the deal. He knocked him out. Brandon was out. If he would have landed two or three more shots, it really would have been unfair. Wowzers. That is not an early stoppage by Dave Sell, you said. People's Warrior, Birdman. the cage here and let Tim Hughes make it official. Johnny, we're going to go inside the cage here and let Tim Hughes make it official. Johnny, we're going to go inside the cage here and let Tim Hughes make it official. Thank you. 